So OpenAI just dropped a bombshell on the world by releasing their own AI video generator called Sora. This week I was actually working on a new video which is the top AI video generators but I'm putting that on hold for the moment until I get my hands on this AI video generator because let me tell you right now from what I've seen this may be the best AI video generator yet. What I can confirm is that it will have text to video, image to video and video to video capabilities. It can also generate videos up to one minute long. For context, most video generators only go up to five to 10 seconds. So at the same time it was posted on X, Sam Altman also posted by saying that OpenAI would be offering access to a limited number of creators. Funnily enough, Mr. Beast actually commented by saying, Sam, please don't make me homeless. To which Sam responded, we'll generate a video for you. What would you like? Mr. Beast responded by saying, hmm, a monkey playing chess in a park. And here is the actual generation of a monkey playing chess in a park. Then Sam wanted to showcase what Sora can do by letting X users reply with captions for videos they would like to see. He also said not to hold back on the detail or difficulty. So here are all the generations that Sam created for the users. This one here is a wizard wearing a pointed hat and blue robe with white stars, casting a spell that shoots lightning from his hand and holding an old tomb in his other hand this one's breathtaking like look, look at the, the the sheer scale like like you, it's moving through the city and it's just so expansive and then it's very very detailed as well and then the camera movement it's just so steady here's a funny one a half duck half dragon flies through a beautiful sunset with a hamster dressed in adventure gear on its back this one's kind of cool well okay a futuristic drone race at sunset on the planet mars this one is actually very very realistic like I, i'm pretty sure that is the same microphone i mean it looks very similar to my microphone or the, or the bigger version of it so then we have an instructional cooking session for homemade gnocchi hosted by a grandmother social media influencer set in a rustic tuscan country kitchen with cinematic lighting i think they're trying to showcase the fingers there's a thing with uh fingers in ai video and images they usually have more than more than five so I think that's what they were trying to showcase there. A bicycle race on ocean with different animals as athletes riding the bicycles with drone camera view. I think Kanal was trying to go for a different generation there, but I don't know, it's still pretty cool. It's kind of funny. The animals are riding bikes on top of the water. And then we have Bling Zoo. This is a single video generated by Sora, shot changes and all. I mean, the, the level of detail there, like, and just like the inclusion of animals and bling jewelry it's just i don't know it's we're gonna start seeing stuff that we've never seen before and i mean just how detailed this is like uh, like i said before it's gonna be hard to tell soon what's ai and what's not now i had to read through the technical report and i'm gonna summarize all of the key information now and then after i'm gonna show you guys more amazing sora generations so you can see first of all three images here the first one's very static and then you can sort of see the static moving away until it becomes a clear image so sora uses sora uses a technique called diffusion it's like an artist sketching the outline and then filling in the details until the picture comes to life as we move down we see these three videos here of a dog uh, in a in a winter setting and you can see at the bottom base compute four times compute and 30 times compute as we give the AI more compute, it's like feeding more power into the brain. As we move down, you can see here, there's three videos, all of the same generation, but we can see that they're all in different aspect ratios. I guess the one on the left here would be for, for smartphones and the one from on the right here would be for TV. So it does a good job in generating based on the aspect ratio of the device that you're using it on. So it also has image to video capabilities. And here are some examples of images that were created from DALI 3 and just the sheer consistency like it, it's not ch usually video gen like especially image to video generations they usually change the image and you sort of can't tell what it looks like and that's always been the downside but you can see here like it's, it's not necessarily changing anything it's really just making it come to life and that's what we want this one's actually my favorite i'll just enlarge this one actually well look at that that like that is absolutely amazing like 
even just the water coming at it like uh, breathtaking sora also has the capability of extending generated video so it's saying here either forward or backward in time this could be really helpful especially if you need like another three seconds of it's a handy feature i think a lot of content creators may use this at times especially when it gets better as well and here's another example of someone on a bike and it's sort of doing an ultimate loop and you can't really tell where it started or where it finished but it goes for about 14 seconds so let's see what happens after 14 seconds it just keeps going so it you know what i mean like it just when it hit that 14 second mark it just looked like a it just looked like a video that's just been going on for ages now this i actually thought was really cool this is the video styles i'm gonna press play and i'm gonna show you what it does so First of all, this is the input video, and then this is essentially the first setting. Change the setting to be in a lush jungle. Now, here's the part where it's really cool. We can click on that and change it to the setting of 1920s with an old school car, and there you go. It's keeping the same input video and giving, it's, that is just like, I, honestly, this probably, this is probably, is probably what amazed me the most. This is pixel art style. This is pretty much just taken Domo AI and just made their own version, but just made it so much better. Let's go to another one, make it go underwater. Look at that. That's so amazing. And let's go, let's change the video setting to be different than a mountain, perhaps Joshua Tree. Very similar, actually. You know, that seemed like it seemed <laughs> very similar, but yeah, this one's in the middle of the desert. What else do we have? Put the video in space with a rainbow road. This one's kind of cool as well. It's a good addition with the road and you can sort of see the planets in the background and space. Keep the video the same, but make it winter. Let's see how accurate it is. Yeah, I don't know. The car is completely different, but still, it's still a supercar and you can see there's all the snow there. This next feature is kind of interesting. It's called connecting videos. <laughs> this is interesting. So we have the drone on the left, the butterfly on the right. So in the middle here, this, now you can see there, the, so it's still in the Colosseum, but the drone is now a butterfly and it's now in water. As we move down on the left here, we're in some sort of ruins and then it's also a Christmas um, house thingy. And then there, yeah, that's, let's put it together. This is also interesting as well. We've got the lizard on the left and the bird on the right. And I'm assuming it's gonna morph into the actual bird itself. This one was kind of cool and, and I love like this one, I, like you got the car on the left here and then you got the cheetah on the right and it looks like the cheetah is now chasing the, the, the actual truck itself, but it could have also turned into the truck. But one thing I love on the left here, like just like just how the camera pans with the actual vehicle itself. It's like GDA. I don't, you guys have played Grand Theft Auto. But I love that. Like I, gamers will love this. This one's also interesting. We have like the wild, wild west town on the left. And then we have uh, a city full of swimming ocean animals and putting it together. Amazing. Another feature that Sora is going to have is that it will be capable of generating images. Now, I don't know if this is just the integration with DALI 3 or making or maybe they're making their own version. I, I would love to see if it is a new version and we can compare that to DALI 3. So. I guess that will come into play. Emerging simulation capabilities. Now Sora can generate videos with dynamic camera motion. As the camera shifts and rotates, people and scene elements move consistently through three dimensional space. Let's watch this one first. This one actually took my breath away. Like, look at this. They're just moving through, I'm assuming this is Japan, but it's just so beautiful like it looks so realistic and just how the camera pans in and just how everything is evolving and just uh, this is brilliant then we have this one here we have two hikers climbing up the side of a mountain you can see it's sort of doing a 360 elevation around them but uh, beautiful you can see the waterfall in the background very nice long range coherence and object performance now i, I know what they mean by this what that this is and i keep saying it now like you can see there the dog and the theme of everything it's not really changing that much like it's still focusing on the dog 
and the stuff around it is changing so this one's kind of cool as well like it, it looks like a game just the way that the camera pans around it it just i don't know it gives me game vibes this is also interesting as well sora can sometimes simulate actions that affect the state of the world in simple ways and for example a painter can leave new strokes along a canvas that persist over time or a man can eat a burger and leave bite marks. You can see there, as soon as he bites into it, let's see, the. that's a Big Mac, I'm assuming. Look at that. It's more like, I don't know, it's more realistic. It, it's, that's just, I, I, we didn't even really think of that, but that's amazing. This is also amazing. It was able to create Minecraft. Like, look at that. I don't know if, they're, if one of them is Minecraft and one of them is Sora. But like, look at it. Is this going to change the way that we create games? Is ChatGPT and Sora going to be able to come together and help people make games? I, I will say, but uh, very cool. This is also interesting. Sora currently exhibits numerous limitations as a simulator. For example, it does not accurately model the physics of many basic interactions like glass shattering. All right, now let's go through all of the generations on the OpenAI website. Some of these are absolutely breathtaking. And we'll, you know what? I'm gonna rate each one from one to 10 and 10 would be my favorite. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon animated city signage. Ah, just the way that it focuses on her and you can see the people walking. A movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet. Wow. Oh my God, that was just... The level of detail on this one is really, really good. This one's cool. I've seen drone videos like this on YouTube. So I'm assuming that a lot of the footage would be coming from there. The waves, the way that everything's panning and everything's moving all at once. Here's a Pixar animated one, which is, I don't know, like this looks pretty good. A gorgeously rendered papercraft world of a coral reef. It's not amazing, but it's cool to see the various styles and Things that we've never seen before, so also very good. Photorealistic close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. You know what's so funny? I knew that was a cup of coffee. A young man in his 20s is sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky reading a book. A close-up view of a glass sphere that has a zen garden within it. There is a small dwarf in the sphere who is raking the zen garden and creating patterns in the sand. Extreme close-up of a 24-year-old woman's eye blinking, standing in March catch during magic hour. A beautiful homemade video showing the people of Lagos, Nigeria in the year 2056. Wow. Oh my god. Just the way that the camera panned and rotated and just all of the individual people, like a petri dish with a bamboo forest growing within it that has tiny red pandas running around. Okay, interesting. There's a, this one's actually, I don't know why, but this one's actually one of my favorites. And I think it's probably the gamer in me. Like the fact that the, the angle of the camera is just, I love it. Reflections in the window of a train traveling through Tokyo suburbs. When I honestly saw this, I actually just thought, no, this is a real video. Okay, you know what put me off? The reflection. Do you see the late the girl and the reflect? From what I've, from what I understand, from gaming and trying to make games and code games, reflections and mirrors are actually very difficult in games. So, th this is just uh, wow. A drone camera circles around a beautiful historic city built on a rocky outcropping along the Amali coast. You would honestly think that this is just some drone video like on YouTube. You would not think this is AI generated. A large orange octopus is seen resting in the bottom of the ocean floor. <laughs> it looks like it's having a fight with a, a crab there. Wow. This one kind of creeped me out a little bit. The human on the right. And I guess that's how humans look like when they're waking up. But just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> kind of freaked me out, but it still looked pretty realistic. A Chinese Lunar New Year celebration video with Chinese dragon. Look how many people there are. Here's a time lapse, a stop motion animation of flower growing out of a windowsill of a suburban house. 
Very nice. This one is just, I really like this one and there's a reason why. He looks like Michael Scott from The Office. A litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. Look at the, look at the small pieces of snow and look at the like hair and just, they're so cute and they look realistic as well. It's, it's amazing. This one was kind of funny because I look, I don't know if you guys can see it. It sort of looked like, it looked like it was just sand and then it turned into a chair and now they're moving the chair. The chair's floating now and now the chair has come to life and there we go. That's the evolution of life. This is where like human faces, like the human faces look so real. Like it's not you guys have probably seen it in ai videos like the faces get real weird so th these ones look amazing a corgi vlogging itself in tropical maui this looks real Th this 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 one looks real honestly an aerial view of santorini this one is very very nice tilt shift of a construction site filled with workers very nice the glenifan viaduct is a historic railway bridge in scotland uk Wow. Anyway, guys, that's it for all of the videos on the website. Go check it out. I didn't show every single one, but go have a look. And honestly, I am very excited to get my hands on this AI video generator. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. And I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.